<laughs> Stay out hey, my man, business. Let's get to it, man. Yo, yo, what's good, man? What's the word, everybody? We got a podcast, new podcast series on the way. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple people here with me. Who we got? Can we have everybody introduce themselves? Who we got here? Start with me. Yeah, we're gonna start with you. Kane, Mr. Kane, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I'm Glen Oaks, you hear me? Zion City. Motherfucker Dixie, you hear me? Whole Louisiana. Mr. Kane. That's what I represent, you hear me? What you saying? Yeah, J. Lewis, I'm in this bitch here in Baton Rouge. Oh, you wasn't gonna say where you was from? That's where I'm from. Oh, I'm from Skyler. Oh, the Bradley Road. <laughs> I ain't from there. Man, you act like a nigga ain't proud of they motherfucking city. Oh. I just repped three motherfucking oh, neighborhoods in this bitch. I love Baton Rouge, for real. The whole city with it, huh? For sure. Yeah, man, Baton Rouge. We from Baton Rouge. Majority of us. My nigga, he gonna introduce himself. My nigga gonna introduce himself. We just all real, but for sure, for Louisiana. Sure. For sure, for sure. Now, you the only woman here today, you know what I'm saying? So, we gonna get to it. It's pretty much gonna be aimed towards you, because we, you know what I'm saying? You represent the women right now. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You said you gonna stand tall for it. I ain't directing nothing towards Kim. Kim get by it. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I she ain't directing shit towards him. So, you know what I mean? Who ain't about no trouble. trouble. <clears throat> Let's That's a name. That's a name. Man, they call me Buck. Man, better better known as Landlord Buck. I'm originally from New Road. I spent some time in Dixie, Fairfield, and Brookstown. You know what I'm saying? Federal BOP. Federal BOP number 08473 095. You heard me? 205 represent. Yeah. 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 You got to respect that, though. Yeah. Rap shit. Nigga, come for us. That's real shit. What's, yeah. What's up, man? It's your boy Duke, man. I'm from Arkansas, man. Nah, for sure, yeah. for sure. We're going to make Duke from Baton Rouge in a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to from you. Yeah, I'm ready to you. <laughs> we just got hey, we got to land him in the spot. He just don't know it. Nah, for sure. Now this, you know what I'm saying? This series gonna be more for the, you know what I'm saying, the grown or even like the relationship type people. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into all that for sure. Now I do want to pop it off with this. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, you know what I'm saying, have been in a relationship before or maybe be in a relationship right now. How important is money in a relationship to you guys? That's a very, that's, that's a big. deep one. <laughs> very important. Oh, that's kind of. I mean, I mean, I mean. If I deal with a female, I'm going to deal with her for really because, I mean, sometimes, though, you could take somebody. She got to have ambition and a drive, though. I can't just deal with no female here because I ain't going to lie, though. It's been a time in my life where I lost everything and had to climb and get it back, but I had the ambition and drive to get it back. You can't just be a female who just sit there and, oh, you don't want to do nothing. You just want to go work as a clerk at a gas station, this and that. I don't knock them type of people, yeah. but you got to want better. You feel what I'm saying? Because I want better, and I can't be the only one in the relationship who want better because every day I get up and go get it. I mean, sometimes I can't think straight. Right, you know what I'm saying? And look, look, and, and I say it's aspects, you know what I'm saying? Because like daily life down there costs you to walk outside, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, and with that being said, as men, we already got to carry the load, you know what I'm saying? No matter how you see it, Kim, and it's not directed at you. This is a, this is not, this is a, no, this is I me. Was you know? I didn't even you say. When I did, it. <laughs> it's a moral argument. It's a more, yeah. it's a moral argument. So I say, when I say aspects, though, I, it's like. You know what I'm saying? And when I say care of the lows, I say aspects because, like like I say, throughout life, it costs. You know what I'm saying? For, for the live and for the die. You know what I'm saying? And like he says, it's a moral argument. Well, moral uh, com state, moral uh, conversation. Uh, I wouldn't be the only one carrying this load if, if, I, if I'm... Uh, if I'm Claiming you, if you my significant other, if I if I got you, if I got if I got claims on you and you got claims on me, I think you should take it in consideration to know that it live cost to live and it cost to die. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's why I say in certain aspects. You know what I'm saying? She might be cool with dressing all uh, off offline with the with the boutique clothes. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fly nigga, so I'm, I like to go go get what I get. You know what I'm saying? It might cost, and I ain't gonna forget about you, but just know. You gonna have to kick something out too, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have to, yeah. you gonna have to bills, all that shit, everything. Type shit. You 50-50 type guy. I mean, I, nah. I, I am, I am, That's and real. there's a reason for that because I like to save. Because sometimes, most of the time, well, 80 percent of the time, women like to fuck. So you 80-20. So I'm, as me being the, the head of the household and being the sole provider. I feel as though the more I save, the better off we are. Cause a woman wouldn't have spent her last three thousand on the purse. I ain't gonna do that. No right. type of way. I ain't gonna spend my last no shoe. I sit back and let everybody else go party before I do that. Oh, that's the people. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. I'm I'm 
I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna sacrifice. I'm gonna sacrifice the type of Sacrificial, yeah. Yeah, sacrificial. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. That's but real. women will do that and just. Oh, my man got me. Well, if I got you, you got to put 50. Yeah. <laughs> you heard me? And then let me say, because when you, when you make a dumb bonehead decision, right. the money that I save from not paying all the bills, it is. And then again, though, shit. She Joe, might make a small Joe mistake. Joe the bank and plenty of everything, you heard me? I might be so embedded in my business to where I can't get to you like I want. Yeah. And Jody right there dancing <laughs> with his little Stacey Adams on. He might just come through that window. I'm paying all the bills. You just stacked up everything. You done ran off. Hey, you right. got a whole quarter hey, sitting in the bank. So, so what I about, got 1500 I can't so do look, nothing. What about the time when you said, I mean, you just said that it, it was a point in your life that you didn't have. And you needed somebody, you know, you you had to lean on a woman. So she can't go blow that money because she feel that you owe that to her or you giving her a chance to, but, you know, do it. So what, what, what but, does but, that but, statement but, come in that, like, basically, like, no one owes anyone anything? You know what I'm saying? Man, if I yeah. owe you down... When no, you so down, when you come up, you don't owe me. So but I, I feel might, like you I might not have me. the same morals as you. You know what I'm saying? But we don't need to that's be life. But you would, you would know that's to, life. You would know to a situation to um, present Come, themselves. Present themselves. But that's just well, life, bro. Right, People got some messed up morals, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, but I'm saying, we talking to him. Man, we talking so, to everybody. In this I'm, <laughs> the question was, like, yeah. when we, me and you talked the other day right. about being submissive, right? Exactly. I feel that even with you, with, what you said, a woman can be submissive, but you want to go get an outfit. What if you want to go get an outfit? I want to go get an outfit, but we ain't got nothing but three, four hundred dollars in the house. We ain't going to get, get no outfit. motherfucking outfit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we gonna let that. Hey, we gonna let that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's that stupid mistake. I mean, even the lifestyle, though. I mean, we're gonna sell my house and move in our apartment because you want me to be submissive to you. So can you afford my? Not I mean, I'll back up with that. Hey, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I don't think romance and finance can go together. They can't. No, either no. no. Either or. Can't. Just like yeah. alcohol and emotions. Yeah. yeah. They can't. Okay, so what yeah. you mean? Yeah. You want to operate on that for us? Oh, uh, you got to choose what you want. You want romance or you want finance? <sighs> You know what I mean? Like, okay. I want so, romance. I want to get my own finance. I'm nasty. <laughs> man, be nasty. Nasty. Be nasty with me. I'm going to go I get the finance. Man, I've been years without a woman. <laughs> Just be nasty with me. I ain't lying. Hey, show me a good time. Let's hold hands. Let's cuddle. Be yeah. nasty with me. Because I missed that shit. It was yeah. part of my life. Well, I just dreamed about just <laughs> touching a woman, yeah. hugging her, putting my hand through her neck. I don't want to feel no lady right. I want to touch you. You can move that bitch and adjust your forehead. I swear to God, this is how I sleep at night still. <laughs> so, I'm so programmed to just sleep like that yeah. from pretending I had a woman so you got just be nasty yeah. we ain't up. got to go to the concert we ain't got to do the outfit yeah. shit I'll go buy a little food we gonna cook in this little box of wine man we gonna yeah we gonna put up in the house, yeah. house. Jay Lewis man what you think bro what you think about this I agree. Oh, he tell me. <laughs> no, we we no, we no, we no, we no. <laughs> no, I'm just joking about that. He tell me. I just say. Right, so like you said, you said you're hey, getting ambition, right? What are some signs, some red flags that people tend to ignore early on in talking stages? Uh. Uh, it's a lot of them, bro. Yeah, right. what's, what's the well, most people go into it putting on anyway. Right. Yeah, like yeah. people have right. character. Really know who you yeah. date. People right. have exactly. a character, bro. Exactly. It'll switch on you so fast, bro. You can just from the slightest. Hey, I love women, and Man, I ain't trying to out y'all, but right. y'all motherfuckers be doing do overboard with this detective stuff. Y'all go look for things, and when you find <laughs> it, you motherfuckers. Be mad at the world when you should have just left that shit alone and it probably would have never. Well, if you were, if you no. were just, but if you no. would just be honest and be real and tell us what's going on, even, we ain't got to go look. But it might not even you be. you let me know what I'm dealing with, why well, I got to go look because I already know it's dealt. So right. why I got to so go look? So I didn't see. Yeah, yeah, I didn't see. Yeah, every time. And I didn't see people. I didn't see people put their own understanding on a situation and us being men and histories and histories of or men having the title of cheaters, you know what I'm saying? We don't have a fair fight. Man, it can if be, you man, be a can't. woman and you keep it real from the beginning, so what, about your nigga what she got to go look for listen, if she listen, already know what listen. she dealing with? So you, you fine, right? 
fine as a motherfucker. And is. But what? No, I'm. I'm this is this is uh this is theoretically speaking. Kelly. You do your shit. I ain't. I'm talking about generally. So you fine as a motherfucker, right? Mm -hmm. And you got a fly ass nigga, right? Right. But you got a friend that's not your friend. That's people, not not you. Right. People. Okay. The public, the views, think she's finer. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what you might have an emotion one day that's saying, Oh, I ain't tripping on my nigga having no friend. And then you might come get some backlash about this bitch being finer than you. Man, if my nigga make me feel good and my nigga come But what if he make his friend feel good too? Well, that's it. Okay, y'all can't accept that shit, man. You shouldn't make her feel you have to say that. bro? We we not supposed to tell nobody now. African American, white, yellow, nothing. Look, that leads to a different conversation now. What do y'all think about like open relationships? Like, like somebody I mean, gonna get I think hurt. That's the new thing. Somebody gonna get physically hurt. Yeah, right. somebody gonna get yeah. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for your motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'm single yeah. rather than mingle. I ain't gonna lie though. That open relationship, cause I'm the type of dude. I'm a little hard, and I'm 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 protective and I'm possessive, not to well. I'm a run. I don't really want no 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 submissive ass woman because I don't want to control no woman. Because uh. sometimes I like a woman around me to control the situation. Mm. We go places. I want you to plan the trip. We gonna go here, go there. I just want to lay back like the big dog. You feel uh, what I'm saying? I, mean, I, I don't want to be and control everything and with my mouth poked out. Big now I want to say this. Now I want to say this to the book. I want to say this to book. Not a hundred percent submissive. But bitch, you gotta be ninety five percent. Oh yeah, you gonna yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. hotels. If we get to the crib or if we in public and shit ain't going right back there, you better shut the fuck up. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's, well, that's a respect thing towards a bitch. You got to right, do right. that. Okay, so but, what you think about it though? Go, go, go ahead. Go ahead, bud. Go ahead. I'm let's finish. No. No. You can say some real shit. It sound like right. I love Shrek. I love Shrek. What he uh. said. Well, look, not outside. Not not this. I'm not speaking from a disrespectful aspect. I'm speaking from submissive. You gotta be <clears throat> submissive, man. No, you gotta be in, 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 a, in a bathroom in the bedroom, shit like that. But I'm just I, talking I, I about in everyday public, life. Man. Like I don't want you to be like, can I go to the store and get some food? Oh hell, can no, I? Yeah, can yeah, I? Yeah. Can I wear this? Nah, see, that's when you be submissive. You gotta you gotta be more specific. That sound like jail. Or something. <laughs> yeah, but then, you gotta be. We got men who like that come home and fight and, and raise your hand if you ain't if you, you got not one of the men. If you in this room and you one of the men, keep your hand down. <laughs> man, I am not one of them. I'm not one of them. Leave them niggas over there. I mean, but like with a woman being submissive, like when does it stop? Like what point do you you know what I'm saying cut it off? You got to give her freedom to like, basically she what have a freedom to dress and this and that. You know, you, you got to let her be a woman. Okay, yeah, so but you home? set your you set your ground rules at the gate. Like okay. she tell you what she. Uh, approve of and how she wants you to act around certain people, this and that. Y'all get that shit straight at home, so when y'all lead out, it shouldn't be no bumping heads and collide. Hold on, Man, what you doing in this dude? Women don't, don't that do that. Home. They got it made up in their mind how they want it to be, but they it's a lot of women that don't sit and tell you, hey, I'm comfortable with this. Right. They don't do that right. shit, bro. No. And then when they get when it's a, when they in an uncomfortable position that they never explain to a nigga. Now we gotta figure out why the fuck you mad. Yeah. Why we trying to figure out this? Right. Well, you could have right. said explain right. shit to a They be having it like that because men lead women on. Man, man, look. So I, I could think that I'm your woman, but you could have a whole nother life over man. here that I don't know what is the word? About. Seductive? Is it seductive, bitch? How, excuse my French. How I'm supposed to know? That you want uh 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 something done a certain way. What they call that? You want you want you want to be entitled to certain things from the way you look at me. For now, nah, the way you looked at me make me want to fuck. That don't make me want to come tell you that I want to abide by your rules. Yeah. So how will we know that if nobody tells nobody? Like sir, they got me in that straightforward. You know what I'm saying? I come out and be straightforward. That's why I be cool with chicks. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of and then they might want more. But from from the initial from initially. You don't come out and set your standards. That's what basically what he was saying. That's that's the whole conversation we nobody says a lot of people I ain't saying women, men do it too. We yeah. don't set standards when we come. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Because we might have too many standards. Hmm. So yeah, and y'all might have some. Sure. But then when it come about, y'all motherfuckers be mad. We don't be as mad as y'all. You know what I'm saying? If I find out my bitch fucking off with a nigga, I'm not gonna be as mad as you finding out that I'm messing with a female. I'm not. I'm I can honestly say that. all leads back to let me know what I'm dealing with. Right. But if I don't know what I'm dealing with, how can I? Hey, but I, ain't I don't know I'm what I'm dealing with. I'm gonna keep it straight though. 
when, it's, when a man meet a woman, bro, and he got different things going on, this that this man might see this where the communication fall apart at. A man might have a situation that he have at home, and in his mind, he it's just a situation because he trying to escape it, but that's his living situation. Right. You feel what I'm saying? That's when you a convicted felon, you can't really just if you ain't got your shit all the way together, you can't just go get your oh I'm gonna leave her, I'm gonna get me sign the thing, I'm gonna get this nice apartment over here on my income. That don't work like that. Right. So you damn yeah. near left to just be holding on on the monkey bars like this yeah. and really out here searching with the other hand trying to grab somebody else. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> now if she crazy. become that thing, you'll leave that, you'll drop. Oh, I'm on you, baby, but. It'd be a communication thing, but a nigga, if a man got something at home and he out in the streets, this and that, he's searching for something that he ain't getting at home. Man, but real. you got some men, that's who, real. you got some men, that's real. you got lovers and you got fuckers. You got me and see, I'm the type of dude with love. Oh, I like to make love, pass, I like my feet rub. I like that I'll be too, one bro. rub, you know what I'm saying? And you got niggas who just... All day long. Rabbits. They call me rabbits. rabbits. I'm not I'm one of them. <laughs> I want to make it. Like, oh, no, I like the little red. I like to go to Walmart, get the little fruit tray. I get that red. I'm gonna keep it going. And eat fruit. Well, that's uh, a I'm a rabbit. That's you know, Peter. Peter. I know the real Peter. I'm gonna keep it going. All right, so look. All right, so look. Peter. Peter. Call me Jack. Yeah. You know I'm Peter. Call me Jack. You got lovers and you got fuckers. I'm a lover, man. I'm a lover. I like to get the I'm little fruit tray in by the bed. We feed each other fruits. Rub my feet. I'm a big boy. You got to rub these bitches. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You got to rub these bitches. So we talk about communication, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to communicate better in a relationship. How much does somebody's past matter in a new relationship? Okay. We grown now, so I got to overlook that unless yeah. you just, if you had a uh, 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 sex transmit disease, I feel like I got to go, baby. I, got, I, can, I can't nah, stop. I ain't big on the past, man. I ain't, nah, that's over Me being, okay. a, I'm a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I, I think my blessing is like. All the rappers remember, like strippers now, tell the truth. I don't, yeah, I, mean, I, don't I don't like strippers. I don't like they smell. Yeah, I, I know they game. Like I don't like the way they body feel. Yeah, yeah, feel like mushy. Like they yeah, like I like it. But I like I like strippers. <laughs> I don't like strippers now. The yeah. only thing I like about strippers is, I, if I got a little situation, I like to bring a strip in on a threesome. That's the only thing I like. But about nah, see, look, see, look. just go dunk up a stripper. But, I can't do that. But see, you giving them a title, and. Them strippers be having uh, other other lives. Like you, we might look at her like her body might be flabby. She might be a stripper, but that bitch might be in a cold blooded relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, I think stripping is just like a game. You know what I'm saying? It's a job, I think though. stripping is yeah. It's, a, yeah, it's just it's, a, a job. it's just a gimmick. You know what I'm saying? But the ones that is strippers, the the strip stripper. Man, I hate them bitches, man. <laughs> the real strippers. Man, real yeah, strippers, like, man. Real you be wanting to drag the bitches while they come on and throw ass outside. <laughs> but look, all right, so you said you a rapper. Both of y'all are rappers, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. If y'all come across a, a woman, y'all got a good vibe, y'all kicking it off, but you know her past is fucked up. What's the next move? Hmm. I got one right now. She takes me a pad drive, you want to see it? <laughs> 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 it's all good. Yeah, I fuck real. with you. That's real nigga. What about Don't you, tell me about my pen. Oh damn! I don't care it about that. Don't tell on, you about your future. It depend on, it depend on the past. <laughs> hey, but I ain't gonna lie, that's real though. If our past is, it if our past, if, 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 if our past, no, if our past muddy, it depends on her ambition and where she want to go. Because yeah. look, one time I, past maybe one make her. One time she listen, might not, she listen, might not listen, keep go to go up. Look, or she might be like, she might have overcame her past and stay right there. Yeah. Nah, but you gotta keep going up. Hey. You got to keep going when up. I, when I was in college, I had a summer job one time. I met an old dude that worked in a turnaround from Alabama. He was a, he was a, used to be pimp. And he told me he was 51 years old. He just married a 30-year-old girl. He said he met her, and two weeks later, he asked her, was she tired of being a hoe? She said, yeah. He said he took her straight to the jest of the peace. But if she got a fucked up ass, she got to be tired of being a hoe. You get what I'm saying? And that's real. He said she told him. I can't, I can't marry the uh, neighbor. Used to be neighborhood flipper. I can't you do it. You say you can't marry her? Not that used to be met. But, but I ain't lying to hey, What the point where you hey. find out? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Well, there's a lot of girls. I'm saying it depends on the situation. Hey. Nah, you I might know not some know. high school flippers, bro. That's I'm bad. Well, I'm right saying he ain't going to do it knowing. Right? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. 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 Oh, what if you know? If, then I ain't tripping. Yeah. Oh, man. Damn, so if you don't know, you ain't tripping. So is it ever too late? You can't trip if you don't know. Oh, you do find out. That's it. I don't know. I don't care to find out. I don't care to try to know. You know what I'm saying? See, you say you know. You know what I'm saying? Who you used to 
yeah. fuck with and this so and that. If I don't know that, that, you know. And then it got some old. Yeah, because I don't only know. I only gonna go about what you showed me. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't like, matter. Like yeah, it don't. But you know, if people, when niggas come tell me like, something about what you used to be, that's some hating shit. That's some bitch. Yeah. I'm I'm focused on what you is now. What you show me day to day. I'm so ratchet. I'm gonna go home. You tell me some bitch bitch ass shit like that. I'm gonna go do some old nasty shit to make her stay or something. Some old cool shit. Buy all this something or something. Take her eat some something. Make sure she don't go back to you. You sound like you was enjoying that shit at one time. You ain't get it again. You ain't getting it no more. Now, do y'all think that's like more of a mental thing, or is it like what other people think? If you would have flipped, if you would, like if you would have flipped, is it more about how you feel personally about what everybody think about it? Nah, some people that depends on what you in your life. Yeah, if you get hey, let me tell y'all a story. Hey, ain't lie. If you a boss, you can boss any woman. Man, let that's me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell y'all a story, bro. I was she ain't the same woman when she was with her than when she is with me. Hey, this she twenty times better.